we'll be getting started in just a little while, everybody. We'll be getting started between the four-minute mark and five-minute mark on the stream timer down below. So get yourself strapped in. We'll be getting started in just a little while. Uh, I had a couple little drinks here for myself today while I chill. First, I um, want to save my coffee for a later time. Presumably next week. So I got a can of Yoohoo that I'll be starting with. And I got a can of Code Red Mountain Dew. It's been a while since I've actually had a soda in the stream. So that'll be nice. But we'll be starting off with Yoohoo first. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and crack open that Yoohoo right now. Hello, Shadow Seed. How are you doing today, bro? Alright, it says that I am streaming Torrance Passage. Hopefully it doesn't change it while I'm streaming. Because sometimes it'll do that. Like, first it'll, um... First it'll change the title, like, right when I go live. And sometimes it'll change it, like, around, like, between four to five minutes into the stream. I'm not sure why it does that crap. But it does it. And I've put in Lord knows how many tickets to Twitch support about it. And they say that they fixed it, but it still happens on occasions. Gotta love customer support, not just online, but even in real life. Hasn't changed in Lord knows how many years. But yeah, we'll be getting started just a little bit, though. That's true, you agree? Yeah. <sighs> also, I found out that, um, I'd say it was about, like, between five minutes to an hour after um, Ginger posted up her commissions being open, they got filled up. So yeah, I'm 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 a little sad about that. I wasn't able to put in a uh, commission. She only had five slots open, and I wasn't able to get one. Yeah. She knows I've been waiting. But, eh, you know, things happen. Might just have to find another artist then if she won't be able to do it. That's perfectly fine. We're going to have ourselves some fun today. That's what we're going to do. We're going to have ourselves a lot of fun today. So, it is now a five-minute mark, so... Hello Internet, your friendly neighborhood game machine here, and today welcome to another installment of Retro Friday. And today I want to play some more Torrance Passage. I've played this game Lord knows how many times on this channel, and I've uploaded them to YouTube. And uh, to people that are watching this later, I am still currently fourth place worldwide of beating this game at 100%. So, uh, yeah. I would see if I can fix that time, but it would require me to go into the settings and turn Torrent into Sonic the Hedgehog, 
and skip every single piece of dialogue and um, things like that. And I believe speedruns like that are unwatchable to me. I just I just don't like doing speedruns like that. Hence why I don't really speedrun that many games. And I only have two first place world records and one fourth place world record. Um, and in case people are wondering what my other world records are in, I have my fourth place in Torrance Passage. I have my first place in Wishbone and The Amazing Odyssey. And I have my first place in Men in Black, the game for PlayStation. So, yeah. There we go. But, uh, as always, I'm going to let people know that I start on the prologue first. And I work my way down. And then I play this whole game. So, everyone, just sit back. Get your favorite drinking beverage. Get your favorite snacking item. And we're going to go ahead and get started with Torrance Passage. As you know, I try not to talk during the, uh cutscenes so people can enjoy the game with me. So let's go and get started with the prologue. Let's do it. Torrent, when are you gonna grow up? You pick up those tools from town like I told you? Um, I thought I'd do that tomorrow. No, I need them in the morning. You get into town right now. Yes, sir. Hurry home, Torrent. Don't be late for dinner. Okay, Mom. This isn't what I want in life. I should be a hero. Heroes don't run errands. Right, Boogle? Hey, Boogle. Boogle! <coughs> Asleep again?
Ah, Boogle. Is this all my life will ever be? Running errands to this little town? I just... I just don't want to live my life without ever having lived my life. Chapter 1, The Lands Above. And thank you, Mr. Omarosa, for contributing to the Community Challenge. Thank you very much. No! They never hurt anyone! What happened? I saw it. I saw everything. Who are you? What are you doing here? I was just passing by when all that started. I was so scared I hid behind your barn. Who could have done this? It must have been one powerful sorcerer. Or sorceress. Why? And who around here has such power? No one I know. But once there was such a person. But no. Licentia's been gone for years. Licentia? Who's Licentia? Oh, I don't think it could possibly be her. She was banished to the lands below years ago. The lands below? She must have been evil to be sent there. Yes. And there's no way you could ever find her down there. I know what I'll do. I'll find this Licentia and force her to release my parents. So as you all know, I play this at my own pace. You know, I don't exactly play this as a walkthrough, but you can use it as a walkthrough if you want to have a pace similar to mine. So I do things out of um, out of um, out of loop. You'll notice it. I like to get everything and then head to my objectives. Luckily for you guys, I know how to do everything in this game. So let's go and get started. We're gonna get these berries. These berries. We're going to go back home and go get some stuff. So, chat, how are you doing today? How was your week? How was your week, Shadow? How was your week, Mr. Rumble of Roses? Hopefully you guys had yourselves a good week. Hopefully you had a good dinner as well. Had a really good dinner today. Let's go get the axe. Yeah, I saw that. Congratulations to you. I might need this empty pouch for something. Mr. Badger tried to do some uh, Twitch streaming today. He did really good until I had to go to sleep and everything. Come back here. I was really tired today. Come here, ain't she? Gotcha. It's Mr. Worm to you. Hey, come back here. Hmm. Now, which one is it? Oh, not again. Gotcha. Oops. 
Yuck. Uh, hey, Boogle, get that, will ya? Your leaf, maybe? Ooh, nice texture. Nice structure. Good size. Professional markings. Plenty big. Why not? Okay, it's a deal. Yep, done deal. You want a high five? Uh, no thanks. Uh, no. Your loss. But that was nice of you. Yeah, and you know what they say about nice guys? Slim, can't you tell he doesn't have a clue? Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, here's a clue for you. Slugs love scum. Slugs? Scum? Yeah, pond scum is good. Nah, you can have your pond scum. Bog scum, now that's the best. Bog scum? No, definitely moat scum. That's what you want. Oh, yeah. Moat scum is choice. Too bad you can't get it. I'm going to. What do you mean, can't get it? I know where the moat is. Don't worry, I'm yeah, going to. you know where, but do you know what? <laughs> like, what's in that moat? Oh, yeah. Croctopus. And lots of them. Wouldn't lots of them be croctopi? Crack the pie, crack the pusses, don't matter. You'll never get close enough to the water to get scum from the moat. Wait a minute. Didn't you say you were going to the moat Olympics? Yeah, why? Well, if I took <laughs> you over there, would you help me get some moat scum? Slam. Excuse me. What do you think? Thank you, Shadow Seed, okay, for uh, contributing to the community oh, challenge. Thank okay, you very much. Big boy, let's go moating. Here, hop on your leaf. It's got to be my favorite part in this game. Crystal City. No matter how many times I see Crystal City, it's still impressive. Indeed. Indeed. Here we are, boys, the site of the next Moat Olympics. I hope you win the gold medal. Thanks, Torin. You're okay for such a dry person. Yeah, thanks. And in return, I'll put in a good word for you with some of my Croctopus friends. Good word? I don't need good words. I need moat scum and plenty of it. Oh, you do, do you? <laughs> and exactly where do you want it? Why, right up here. <laughs> hey, Croc! Pass the boy some scum! Mm. Croctopus, though, man. doing certain things out of order that's all right
try this out. This works. Grab the branch. Oh, come on, game. Grab the branch. Oh, my God. Grab the branch, Tor. Got it. There we go. That was a bit tedious. Now, how am I going to get my bag? Boogle, stop! What? Boogle? You mean this whole time you could have walked right out on that bog? Only when it's funny, huh? I'll only when it's funny you. I guess I'll just leave this delicious moat scum right here for a while. Now I'm gonna get you. Those slugs are so fast, I'll never catch them like this. If only I could make a trap. Make a box right over that moat scum. That's it, Boo. Now we've got him. No more caffeine for you guys. <laughs> Thanks, Boogle. I'll try something else here. Break the glass. Oh, nice blue color, eh, Boogle? Yeah, what's that thing? You rang? Huh? Who are you? Where'd you come from? What are you doing there? You trying to sneak by me? Oh, I wasn't asleep, no sir. I heard you come through. <laughs> well, I wasn't trying to sneak by you. I'm Torin, and I really need to get to the lands below. Can you help me? The lands below? You one of them? 
Well, you can't stay up here. You go right back down where you came from. Yep, nobody from down there gets past me, and you won't neither. Oh, no, you misunderstand. I'm not from the lands below. I want to go there. So you do know how to get there? Go there? Why, no one goes there. That's <laughs> no place for any self-respecting citizen. <laughs> Why, them worlds is filled with nutsos, malcontents, psychos, politicians. Gamers. No, there's no way I'd let you go down there. I'm joking. So you do know. Oh, please help me, sir. I must get to the lands below. May I come inside? Nope. No way. Nobody gets inside this guardhouse except my replacement. Don't know where he is either. Was supposed to be here 10, maybe 12 years ago. Never been this late before. No, you gotta go. Get out of here and don't come back. Huh. Who goes there? Um, it's me. I'm... <clears throat> I'm your replacement. What? You are? Finally, it's about time. You must be ten years late. Where have you been? Uh, heavy traffic. Huh? Well, whatever. Hurry up and get inside here. I am powerful hungry. Uh, okay. Hmm. Can't say I much care for the new uniforms. So, get started. <laughs> okay. Uh, started what? Don't they teach you young'uns anything at basic anymore? Well, maybe, but, uh... I wasn't exactly at the top of my class, you know? Hmm, I can see that. Don't tradition mean nothing no more. What's your generation coming to? Say, where's your provisions? Provisions? Well, I, uh, uh... My meal, boy, my meal. You know the core tradition. Before taking over, the replacement guard always cooks the departing guard his final meal. Oh, uh-huh. I knew that. Uh, yeah, that's still taught to all of us. Us. What is it you'd like, exactly? You mean you didn't bring it with you? Well, you won't find no home fort comforts out here. It's your problem, not mine. I know what I want. Exactly. So what do you what want? Do you want for your last meal. Last meal? I ain't dead yet. <laughs> hey, who are you? What are you doing in here? You my replacement? Oh, brother. Why, yes, <laughs> I am your replacement. You know, there's a tradition that the new guard prepares the departing I think he has so Alzheimer's. I'm gonna fix yours. <laughs> Dang right, I know. And I know what I want. Hope you brought it with you. What'll you have? For my appetizer, I want juice. Berry juice. Freshly squeezed. None of that can crap either. Berry juice, huh? Or he's suffering from the CRS, or he's just so damn old he don't give a shit anymore. Yeah, probably. Here you are, Herman. I brought you some berries. Great. Now squeeze I'm eating a giant marshmallow. What? Oh, all right. Uh, where's the juicer? I told you, over there, on the cabinet. Boogle, can you be an axe? Here you go. Say, uh, what kind of berries are those? Why, chuck berries, of course. But um, ah, that tastes great. 
But now I'm getting a little hungry. Oh, brother. You know what I really miss? I'm kind Have of crazy here. I'm just Slaghetti and peat balls. Mm. Slaghetti and peat balls? Don't you mean spaghetti and meatballs? Ain't never heard of no such thing as that. Say, you sure you're from around here, boy? No, no. Slugetty and peat balls is exactly what I crave. Oh, okay. I'll fix it for you. What's in it? Why, slugs and peat balls. What do you think? Mm, I'll be sure to round up Justin for one meal. Mm. Here's your order, sir. Slugs and peat moss, just as you requested. But boy, did I have to go through a lot just to bring these to you. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. You probably just walked around that cliff to the deli. What? You mean... <laughs> <laughs> just a little guardhouse humor, boy. Ain't no food within days of this place. Now get over there in that kitchen and <clears throat> rattle them pots and pans. All right, but this is my first attempt at cooking such a delicacy. How would you even cook that shit? Oh my god. Well, at least it's quick to prepare. Here you are, monsieur. Bon appetit. It would have to at least have a base flavor of escargot because of, you know, snails or slugs. But, oh god, I don't even want to think about the peat moss. No, I don't want to think about the peat moss. No, 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 no that, that sounds terrible. To a no. Near perfect meal. Dessert. Near and perfect nice meal. Latte. Dessert? Latte? Mmm, latte. No. Mm. Oh, stop your griping. You can skip the latte. Just bring me some dessert. Oh. All right, what'll you have for dessert? Why, there's only one thing that it tops spaghetti and peat balls. I'm afraid to ask. The oh, foot of an uh, ogre. Yeah, let's I'm, make I'm joking. sure. <laughs> prepare you a, a root. Then will I be oh, done? Oh man. Bingo, bright boy. Yep, good old. All you gotta do is just cut the, the foot off of an ogre, put it in a smoker for about two hours. Mmm, ogre go. foot. One large root. <laughs> you want to help me fix it? No, I'll just wait right here. No, well, peat moss Somehow may not be a good ingredient. Peat, hey, however, nice is the people of Britain and Scotland. These peat to smoke meat and okay. fish back in a long time ago. Yeah, true. Yeah, I know about that. in the oven bacon, why don't you and I head back to the Phenocrest chamber? Ah, just smell that aroma. You know, there's nothing like coming home to find the square root pie. <laughs> but, um, say, uh, we going out on that joke? No, we're going out through the secret passage. Here while I get something. All right, Shadow, pick a shard. Any shard. <laughs> I've been waiting 15 years to use that line. Pick a shard. Any shard. Shadow, pick a shard. Any shard. Last one on the right. This one right here. You want this shard right here? Okay. Got it. There you go, boy. The joint's all yours. I'm gonna grab my pie and hit the road. Gotta get on home, you know. <laughs> that is, if I can remember where home is. 
But wait, what about me? Aren't you supposed to train me in how this thing works? Works? Kate, hey, don't remember. Heck, it don't matter no way, boy. Nobody's come through here in years. Mm. But is this the way to the lands below? Could be. But you don't care. All you gotta do is make sure nobody from down there gets up here. Mm. All right, let's go. Chapter one is finished. Hit it, Boog. Hang on, Google. I hope I'm right about this. I go ahead, Rumble. And they're gone. And the child. Missing. Missing. The child must be found immediately. I'll try something. I just want to try something. From beautiful cliffside is I just want to check something out. The Bitter Nuts! With Jack Lutman as Mr. Bitter Nuts! And starring Sandra Bullhockey as Mrs. Bitter Nuts! With Michael McCulkey as Little Bobby Bitter Nuts! It's 
Today, we join the Bitter Nuts just as they hear a knock on their door. Just a minute. Holly, can you get that? Oh, never mind. Do I have to do everything around here? Coming! <laughs> Yo, aren't you the giant economy-sized visitor? <laughs> You know, I'd ask you in, but I'm not sure there's enough air in here. <laughs> Holly, take a look at this guy. This is what a real man looks like. <laughs> Holly? Oh, honey, don't mind him. He's just acting his IQ. <laughs> so, uh, you want to come in? Or maybe that should be... Can you come in? <laughs> Why, thank you. I will. <laughs> hey, Mom, I... <laughs> hey, Mom, I... Whoa! Who's the big guy? <laughs> <laughs> We don't know, honey. <laughs> We're still waiting to find out. <laughs> My name is Torin, from the lands above. I'm Mrs. Bitternut, and this is what's left of my husband, Mr. Bitternut. <laughs> and that's Bobby, our son. <laughs> So, uh, what's that thing in your purse? Why, that's my little buddy, Oogle. <laughs> oh, he won't hurt you. He likes people. Yeah? Then he won't fit in here. <laughs> If he's smart, he'll stay off my furniture. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure why, but every time when I watch I this, wondering. of so course it reminds me on. of like old school right television, especially black and white, like I Love Lucy and stuff like I'm that. Sorry, what? But it also oh, kind of reminds me a tad bit of Roseanne. Really Anybody remember the show Roseanne <laughs> or Roseanne Barr? Lives almost next door. Does he ever invite us over? No. This feels kind of like a combination of I Love Lucy Why, and Roseanne. You think he was better than us or something? <laughs> I'm sure King Rupert means to be nice to you. Uh, perhaps he's just busy. Mmm, busy for 20 years? And that queen of his. Die? Yeah, she should. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with her? Too snooty for me. Yeah, That's she is point. snooty. Why, she acts like they didn't have a daughter that was... Hey, have you met their daughter? What about their daughter? Her name's Lena, or something like that. <laughs> Who should get together, Toring? You have so much in common. <laughs> we do? Like what? Oh, uh, your looks, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you two deserve each other. <laughs> How would you describe Lena? Well, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. she has a nice personality. <laughs> She's kind to her parents, I suppose. <laughs> She's a good climber. <laughs> She's lots of fun. <laughs> She's a good dancer. 
she's got a great personality. <laughs> In other words, she's a lot like ye. Yeah. In the bag, Bob. Be sure to join us next time when we hear Bobby better not ask. Just hang out till mom's gone. Where's the cocaine? No, no, I don't know. The Bitter Nuts is not filmed before a live audience. Hmm. I'm just relaxed right now, just playing this. So if I make any random noises, I'm sorry. I'm just really relaxed right now. to see humility in somebody around here. Good day, sir. Yes, it is, isn't it? But then every day is a good day here in paradise. <laughs> a land as lovely as this should be called paradise. Maybe it should, but we call it a scop. But the real question is, what do we call you? Oh, forgive me, sir. My name is Torin of the lands above. I am Rupert. King of Scotland, and this is my lovely wife, Queen Pie. Oh, how do you do, Quotation man? Quotation marks, Hello, lovely. Sure. Eh? What's that? I said, charmed, I'm sure. Well, that's nice. Your Majesty, I can see you are a lover of crystals. Yes, that's the only kind he is. What did you say? I said, yes, and how kind he is. Why, well, thank you, dear. But continue, boy. I humbly offer you this gift from the lands above. I think it will balance your set of crystal shards. May I? Yes, of course. There. <clears throat> and as this one simple shard completes the connection between the formerly distinct spectra above us, so too, therefore, may our two worlds be connected by uh, the, uh, the, the peace and uh, understanding that uh, comes from, um, you know, it, like that, there. Hmm. Uh, here, here. Bravo. I say, what the... What's the boy talking about, Di? Beats me. Di, what did you say? I said, beats me. Oh, this well, woman. I'll consider it. Yeah, beat her. I beat her down it's bad. It's perfect. And in return, I'd like to present you with this invitation to next week's Royal Ball. Nice swap. Shard for free tickets, you cheapskate. What? <laughs> I said, I hope he's still free at this late oh date. Oh, God. <sighs> yes, boy. Do attend. Oh, my God. This game. Thank you, Your Majesty. King Rupert, Queen Di, I am here seeking Licentia, an evil sorceress who may be in this area. Have you heard of her? I haven't heard of any licentia. He hasn't heard of anything he can remember. What's that, my queen? I said, if you'd heard a thing, you'd have a dismembered. Yes, that's true. She's not here in Escarpa, young man. Perhaps she's in some other world below us. But you are welcome to stay here as my guest for as long as you wish. Thank you, Your Majesty. Do you know how to get to the worlds below Escarpa? 
It seems I recall a connection back when I was a young boy, Mary. Oh, but lately we've seen no one at all from the other world. I don't know why. I, I, I suppose we've just lost touch. You can say that again. Eh? I missed that die. I said, I say, that's a sin. Well, yes, I suppose. <clears throat> I didn't realize you felt so strongly about foreign affairs. If you only knew. Oh, God. I cannot stay long in Escarpa. I must find Licentia. Yes, I understand. But in your travels, if you happen upon a young lady named Lena, would you give her a message? Of course. But how will I know her? What does she look like? You'll know her. Um, where? Lena is, um, very tall. Um, yes, nearly as tall as you. And nearly as unsightly. Excuse me? Mm. I said she should call home nightly. Oh. Shit. Is Lena from Escarpa? Of course. She is my daughter. Oh, really? A princess? Has she been gone long? Only a few days, but parents worry nonetheless. Indeed. I understand. I know what it's like to miss a loved one. Di, my dear, why don't you give this boy a piece of your jewelry? That way Lena will know he represents us. Oh, brother, are you right in his pocket? What was that? I said, tell her mother sent her this locket. Oh, yes. Good idea. She's such an ass. Take this one. <coughs> it has a picture of Rupert and me oh, on the inside. Me. I promise to keep it safe until I find her. Okay, got that. Take the giant turkey I leg. This is one of those buffets with an eat all you take policy. Hunk of meat. Mm. Was the music getting to you, Shadow? A little? Yeah. I think that's what it's intended to do. Yeah, I think that's what it's intended to do is to get on your nerves a little bit. For once in your life, can't you just stop and smell the rotting meat? What's that beside that little tree? inside there. I'm trying to remember something. Google. Sorry, I was just trying to remember something there. Check back inside there. I bet it's a way out of this thing. Getting my other drink. Yeah, I 
bet it's dark in there. What are we gonna do? Google, turn into a lantern so we can see what's back there. Wow, Google. It looks brown and soft and smells terrible. We've just got to have some of that. I also noticed as a kid that this is all completely out of proportion. Uh, say, Boogle, would you mind being a shovel? I say, be a shovel. So technically this is the inside of a dragon's mouth. It's like, why would there be poop in the, um, I'm not even going to ask, that's, that's, I'm just going to say it's out of proportion. Okay, Google, turn back into a worm again and get out of it, but don't forget our sample. Let me use it until I go down. That is so funny. This should either make that tree grow or kill it completely. Go down that in a minute. What is a beetle? Oh, I think we can make it, Boog. Right, Hang down. on, Boog. I hope this is worth it. <sighs> <sighs> The Granny Smith apple is the superior apple. What made you think about that? What? Honestly, in my opinion, my favorite apple is, um... Are oh, you listening to a cooking video? Um... I can't remember what they're called, but they're those apples that are yellow, and they have like a, um, a little white wrapping around them, but they're tender like a pear. I like those the most. I think it's coming from up ahead. Uh-oh, Boog. Skunk's ahead. Boog, I've got it. I'll just put this clothespin on my nose. Then I won't be able to smell the skunks.
Greetings, sir. All right, Veter. Funny, he looks awake. He is awake. He's just meditating. Greetings, sir. I could have sworn he squirmed just a little then. Greetings, sir. What? Who are you? And why are you here? I'm Torin. Who are you? That's what I'm trying to determine. I mean, what's your name? Name? Vida. Is this why you come here? To torment me with unimportant questions? Where are the real questions? The ones aching deep inside you? Who are you? What do you believe? What do you know? Actually, I haven't really gotten to those questions yet. My question is more simple. Simpler. Simpler. Huh? Whatever. I'm trying to find a sorceress named Licentia. Could you help me? Forget her. I know the girl you should meet. Uh oh. Sweet girl. Good to her parents. Clever conversationalist. Uh -oh. She has a nice personality. Uh oh. I think not. See, I'm only here for a short stay. I need to find Licentia. Remember her? I asked you about her a few seconds ago. Never heard of her. <laughs> Do you know how to get to the lands below? Do you know how to help the area below? What? I don't understand. You'd understand if it was you sitting on this stone tile all day and all night. The parts below, the, the bottom, bottom line, line, the rear, the rear guard. guard. Are you trying to say your seat is uncomfortable? Uncomfortable? Don't cut it. My seat's boiling. My lungs are burning. Oi! I need relief. I see. No, you don't see, and you won't, because I'm not showing it to anybody. Now, just go away, and I'll continue to suffer in silence. Somehow, I doubt that. Cushion. Here's a thick, soft cushion I think you'll like. Let me feel. Ah, fine materials. Nice padding, soft cover, firm, yet breathable. I thank you very much, O tall, slender one. And in return, why don't you take this instrument of my torture? Just drop it over a cliff someplace if you don't want it, okay? Oh, I would never do that. Here we go, we got his tile. Ugh. Sorry about that yawning stuff, I was stretching too. Ugh. Went to see my uh, stepmom a couple days ago. She's been uh, working on a painting and everything in her studio. Got to see her and watch her paint, and we talked about random stuff. It was fun. Just looking at this landscape here just reminded me of that as well. I love being able to see her. Take that. <laughs> this ought to drive those women out of there. Really smelly. She is such a dear. Yes. Okay, man, I'll reach out saying. Got some boogle down there. 
That's usually when you say she asked me to house it for her at now least. That That's why it's gone. been. Let's send you down there as a you talked Google. about her before. Oh, saying you're going over to house it. Um, we haven't talked about house sitting yet. Um, but it will be happening again. Google, grab that. That is something that there. will be happening. I will be house sitting again soon, sooner or later. Boy, Boog. You want me Boog, to save my game? Doorway goes. Okay, I'll save my game in a little bit. Don't worry. I haven't saved in this game for a long time. Why not? We'll save. See, looking at those side by side, I can I can't even tell which one's really better. Each one's better in its own way. It's like mine, I can actually read the save better, but yet the textures and everything on Gers is a little more um, simplistic. That's that's interesting. Yeah, we'll save. Uh, we'll put it on this one. Sure. There we go. There's your save. I saved the game. Well, looking at it from my perspective, because I'm, like, streaming and I have chat beside me, it might just be because we have probably different eyesights or something. I can read my save better than Gers, but I can see the outlines and textures of hers um, a little better. But it's also, you know, color. Color matters the most. Yeah, I think it might just be our different eyesights or something. 
Or maybe it could be the fact that I'm on a PC and you're on a uh, on a phone. That might be the thing too. Yeah. There's still two very very amazing emotes. Do I have to do everything around here? It's like how mine's kind of boogified. I just came from King Rupert, and he asked me to give you this. What is it? An invitation to the royal ball. <laughs> Yeehaw, Harley! We're going to the ball. Ain't you excited? Oh, he's never been excited in his life. <laughs> Tori, if there's anything we own that you need for your journey, why, just help yourself. It's yours. <laughs> why, thank you, Mrs. B. Of course, I'd love it if you'd take the mister over there. <laughs> Hey, what are you doing? Put that down. That's my best trivet. Aw, oh, Mom, let him have it. You haven't cooked since I was born. <laughs> <laughs> the kid's right. Go on, take it. <laughs> but don't go taking anything else, you hear? And good luck on your quest, young man. Hey, any chance of you taking Junior along with you? <laughs> None whatsoever, I'm afraid. But uh, thanks for the trivet, Mrs. B. All right, we got one more stop. Hey, Boogle, let's go. And then we'll be able to get to Pergola. Be sure to join us next time when we hear Bobby better not ask. That was in my pants. <laughs> the Better Nuts is not filmed before a live audience. Your Majesty, I think this tile is part of something important. You're right. It's part of my floor. No, no, no. Even more than that. You see, at the base of the opposite cliff, I found an unusual room containing a large formation that would hold this tile perfectly. I feel certain that the formation is something important. Perhaps it even holds access to the lands below. Why, then, of course you may take it. Thank you, Your Highness. Let's go.
is ahead contains an ancient Phenocrist column. For centuries, travelers have journeyed throughout the planet of Strata by means of these columns. Connecting the world with the world, planet Strata are able to transmit far more than mere light. Through the use of Aristide powder, discovered by Tor I in the early Unity period, people now have instant mobility. So step inside and enjoy the latest in Phenocrist travel. Chapter 3, Pergola Before I pass judgment, have you anything to say? The child, is he safe? Far away, where he will come to no harm. Although we suspect your involvement in the murder of our beloved royal couple, we could not find enough evidence to convict you. But since you were clearly guilty of kidnapping the Crown Prince, you are hereby sentenced to spend the rest of your life in the lands below. I therefore order an ostracizing collar be fabricated for you and placed around your neck, never to be removed. Should you ever attempt to return to the lands above, the collar will tighten until it chokes you to death. Poor Lysenshaw. this place. Wow, but it is beautiful. Of course. Why didn't I think of that before? I'll just use a little more of this Arresti powder and continue on down. What a fall. Now for our minor... Gulliver's Travels reference being tied up by little people. Stop that. Let me go. Get away. Shoot. Wait. Don't be afraid. Hold still. On behalf of all Pergolins everywhere, I would like to thank you, Giant, for saving the life of Ferma. Oh, that's all right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the little Gingies. Oh, man. Giant, not like some giants we know. I wonder if you could help us with a problem. But of course, you need some logs moved, rocks realigned, villages trampled. Much worse. We recently captured another giant, but very different from you. This one will not cooperate at all. What can I do? Perhaps if you talk with it. Well, okay. But are you sure I'll be safe? Follow me. Oh no! No! 
Oh gosh! I'm, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. Sorry. I won't hurt you. No. Had a moment no. there. It's all right. I'm not going to hurt you. Ha! Huh. You're with them, aren't you? Get away from me. But, but I want to free you. Get away! You'll only hurt me more. You're Lena, aren't you? I just came from your homeland. Uh, I met your mother and father. You did? Escarpa? My parents? Oh, how I wish I had listened to them. I wouldn't be in this mess. They told me to give you this. Oh, look. That is my dear sweet father. And I. Oh, how I miss them. Maybe you are from Escarpa, but you're so tall. Who are you, anyway? My name is Torin, but I'm not from Escarpa. I'm from the lands above. Torin of the lands above. Do you promise not to harm me? I swear. I think it's hilarious that I when he was in Escarpa, he was trying to avoid any type of conversation that would have to do well, with Lena. Uh, Yet now Hurry, that he's met stopping. Lena, yeah. he's like infatuated uh, I with her. I, I'll have to try to break each little thread, I suppose. Why? Use your knife. Well, that's just it. I didn't bring a knife. Some hero I am. Well, hold still. Here goes. Then I'll tell you a little secret. All this time, I've had a knife hidden in my boot. But they tied me up before I regained consciousness. Alright, the boot. Boot knife. Now hold still. I wouldn't want to cut you. Oh, thank you, Torin. That was horrible. Here's your locket. <laughs> oh, Boogle. Mm. Here, let me help you up. Oh, wait. Look at your arms. You're bleeding. What? Oh, uh, I'm okay. I dropped a long ways through the trees before I landed on this soft loam. I must have, uh, you know, caught some branches on the way down. It's nothing. Mm. Nonsense. Come over here. I'm sure I heard a stream this way. Everyone in Escarpa said we should meet, but I never dared dream we really would. Everyone else was so short and hairy. I was always the ugly duckling. Too tall, too thin, hair only on top. But with you, I feel, I don't know, somehow normal. Oh, I think you're anything but normal. What? Torin? Damn. Uh huh? You no, worried it wrong. No, what I meant was it, you're far above normal. You're, you're beautiful. So basically, in the in the words of Wayne from Wayne's World, she's babe. She's a robo babe. Swing. Yeah, they are. They really want you to return home. And my parents, they're still in danger. I must go, I must back. go on. You're, You're right. right. <laughs> <laughs> but will I see you again? You must. Excuse me, you two. Will you be staying for dinner? If so, I'd better send out several hunting parties. No, we've got to leave immediately. We have to begin our search for a phenocryst. Oh, no need. I know right where one is, but it's pretty far away. What? I can't believe it. Does it work? Well, it might. You see, it hasn't been used in some time. Somehow, I could have guessed that. <laughs> Let's go, Lena. Oh no, the puzzles. The 
It's like rumble in them stone columns. I'm, I'm joking, rumble. I'm sorry. <laughs> Attention, everyone. This is Torin and his friend Lena. Please give him your attention. They're all yours. Yes, Rumble, it's very, very funny, yes. Well, that's the problem. No one knows. The Phenocrest hasn't been used in generations. Legend has it that when the Ostiaries find perfect harmony, the world will open unto them. But even when wearing these ancient sacred robes, they cannot find the way themselves. Can you help them? Oh, boy. Okay, uh, you step into the center. Okay, I got a little idea on how I'm gonna do this. And you, uh, take his place. Okay. Let's see. I wanna put all the greens in a row. All the greens are in a row. Now I want this and this to go here. And then I want this, this. Okay, so I got all the greens in a row. Let me switch these two greens. Switch. Uh, oh yeah, put that green right there. Mm. So switch these two greens here. You'll see what I'm doing in a minute. All right, so we got all the greens in a row. We got the blues in a row. I want to switch these two greens here. And we're gonna switch these two here. So I'll put all the blues in a row, all the yellows in a row, all the greens in a row. I believe that's it. Yep, that's it. Hurry, Lena, jump up here. There's many different ways that you can do that puzzle, actually. Here we go, guys. The puzzle I don't like to do. Okay, so. You're already in that spot. That's good. No. This one's going to be a little bit crazy. Okay, let me try something here. No, that's not what I want to do. I could do that. I'm 
almost got it. If I could just have him switch in the front there. Of course, they're not listening. There we go. Got it. Perfect. Yay. Ah, that's it. The pattern was five ascending notes leading to the second nested planet. So that phenocryst goes back to a scarpa. Okay, now we gotta do the guys. This one is so close. Got it. could do it you did but now what oh this part I know stand over here I'll throw enough of this powder for both of us and off we'll go don't forget me Torin I couldn't Lena. be careful this licentious sounds dangerous. oh return when there's a Torin's passage too close your eyes there is no Torin's passage to I really wish there was Save enough powder for a trip to Escarpa. I promise. I'll see you soon, Lena. Somehow. Goodbye, Torin. And goodbye, Bugle. What are you? <laughs> Esthenia. My favorite level. Kurtzwell needed a scapegoat. All these years away from your home, your family, your friends, you must be so bitter. Perhaps I've learned to use the darkness to get what I want. I've heard you've become quite the powerful sorceress. Oh. But not quite powerful enough to overcome the magic of that color. Mm. Not yet. But perhaps soon. And when I do, I promise revenge. Mm. But what if you could return sooner? What? Ha! The color will not be denied. I could release it for you. <laughs> oh, Peckant. You know its spell can only be broken by royalty. And no matter how much you scheme, you'll never be king as long as the boy lives. Yes, I think I sent you. Who sealed the collar? Kurtzwell. That... <sighs> Wait. Are you suggesting you could become Arch Authority? Let's just say if you'll do a small favor for me, I'll do a large favor for you. And just what would that small favor be? Nothing much, just a little magic spell.
smells like uh, ammonia. Cannonballs? Man, these suckers are heavy. Indeed, because they're made out of stone. Potter, that's the, that's the seesaw. Still change up. Let's go get the wrench. So sorry about that, guys. Got the 
rich. Take ourselves down here. Now we need to get over there. Which that won't take a long time. That won't take long at all. still absolutely hilarious that just by muscle memory and reflex I know how to get through this whole game. Like every time when I play this it boggles my mind. It's like, I guess you could say my memory is better when I'm literally doing it versus when I'm trying to remember it offhand. Except if it's Dark Souls. I've uh, learned to memorize um, at least 90% of the areas in that game. I say 90% because there's some areas in, uh, there's some, certain parts in certain areas where I'm like, yeah, I don't think I really need to go that way. So that's why I say that. Take a look at the object. Wrench. that yes all right
Vamos. No Indy. No Indiana Jones Easter egg today. Hello, Mr. Merchant. How are you doing today, sir? Say, have a great stream. We'll be looking for a bit. All right. Also, Michael, don't forget to look at that thing that I sent you um, a good while back. Just thought I'd uh, remind you of that, is all, sir. Tired as always. Uh, I slept through most of the day yesterday. So I'm not exactly tired. Just some mental fatigue. It happens. Ugh, excuse me. It's okay. I'm a very, very patient boy. Same here, my friend. Same here. At least we, at least we alive. <laughs> at least we alive. Okie dokie. Uh, stretch. Stretch, 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 Reno. surprised we haven't ran into an Indiana Jones Easter egg yet. I thought we would have ran into it by now. But it is completely random, so... At least you guys have seen it before. Across, Torin. Across. Push a G button. Wonder what this does. This real quick. Yeah, I got this. Had to map it out in my 
brain again. Thank you, Shadow. Talk about a random retro subject. Let me see. Let's consider the first cartoon series you ever watched. Scooby Doo, not bad. What was your who was your favorite character in Scooby Doo? Same, complete same. I love Velma too. I used to think, though, that um, Shaggy and Scooby were um, were high on marijuana when I was a kid. The reason I say that is no one eats that much food, and you know I'm right about that. Did those two on an album? Would be messing up. No, not yet. What have they said about it? I 
and you know that if you're gonna be if you're gonna be playing it, I'm gonna be watching it. Tell me about it. I want to know. Tell me about the new DLC for Terminator. You're not exactly wrong. There is a bit as of a joke in Scooby Doo, Scooby Snacks, where two pieces of marijuana and food basically He's edibles before they were edibles. I'm sure there's no way you'll ever find oh, okay. it. But I just thought you'd want to know. Annihilation line. You old fool. Okay. No complications, you said. <laughs> Simple. Tell me about it. <laughs> I should have known. care of it. He won't find me or his parents. Now, what about the rest of our bargain? In Jacob and Kyle team up to go behind the line? I knew Kyle had to be in it because remember how I was saying that the Kyle's model was in the game, but they never I'd used like it? To find. Wow, I totally called that shit. So I'm trying to think, if Jacob and Kyle are teaming up to go behind the line, where would this take place in the game? Because um, if you remember the first DLC, it took place um, but literally before the game. Because that's, that's how Skynet knew about... Um, John Connor's mom. Yeah. Because let's see, it would have to take place. Hmm. I'm trying to think when it would take place. Because I'm. Remember in the game right now. Uh, thanks, Boog. Hey, how did you do that? <laughs> in the bag, Bob. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to ponder about that now. Unless it's like an alternate um path if you choose not to go um, back in the past at the end of the game but then again Kyle is said to literally be one of the first to be chosen to go back into the past now. Hmm. or it could be an alternate timeline oops can you get that? Thank you. That could probably work. Uh oh. Or it could be possible that Jacob and Kyle met before the events of the game. You think that could probably work? Well, no, I don't know, because the Annihilation line... I don't know. Safe us. Save us. I said save us, Boogle. <laughs> All right, you. You'd better come with me. You're under arrest. But, officer, what for? Cruelty to plants. Just leave your friend here. If he's lucky, you'll be back in a few years.
away just to be arrested. Where's mom and dad? Will I ever find them? And Boo, I hope he's okay. Is that you? Google. Boogie, no. Google, no. It comes out on the tenth. Okay. I'll check out the trailer after my stream. It's time. I'll see if I can. I'll see if my top perception skills can figure out well, anything. No, sir. Not really. It's just that, well, I'm really sorry I landed in your plants. It was an accident. I only landed in that flower bed because I fell out of that air duct that I crawled through to escape from that storeroom that I materialized in from that phenocryst that I used to get here from Athenia. I didn't, uh, that is, I, oh. Phenocryst, you say? That is kind of weird, uh, though, right yes, there sir. with the game. I haven't heard a storeroom with no entrance or exit. Where did you say you were from, son? With a Phoenix crystal. In it. From the lands above, sir. The only way out technically see, is the air duct. See, this evil sorceress put my parents in a magic hmm. spell and and kidnapped them. And this so old weird. guy saw it all, and and he said her name was Licentia, and she's from down here, and 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 that's where my parents are. So I set out to find her and you know save them. But nobody has ever heard of her, and and well, I don't even know if she's down here or or if this has all been some kind of. And, do you think you could help me, sir? Lysentia, eh? There's no one on this planet by that name. But whether you're a visitor here or not, you need to learn three lessons about Tenebrous and me. First, plants are very scarce around here, and we are not kind to those who damage them. Second, Lawbreakers in my court are handled immediately and forcefully. And third, one more mistake and I'll toss you right off this planet into the Null Void. Now take him back where you found him. And young <laughs> man, I don't ever want to see you here again. Fight shoulder to shoulder with iconic resistance hero Kyle Reese. Help him become the man who will sacrifice everything for the sake of a better future. Plus meet other characters that shows up to the DLC. I live out Kyle's visions of the future seen in the Terminator. Really? Holy freaking shit, dog. Here's a dead, long-stemmed flower on this dauber plant. Surely no one would mind me pruning this. So... Hold on, hold on. The only way that would work, Michael, is if it was future Jacob going back in time. Mid-campaign after the first infiltrator. Yeah, this would only be able to be done if it was future, future Jacob. Because current timeline Jacob is... Um, you know, trying to do his own thing. But you don't really know what future Jacob is going on, you know, all completely behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? This that would only work out, out if it was future Jacob. Stuff. I'd love if we played as future Jacob. That would be pretty nice. Hey, stop poking. Yeah, like we know... Jacob has time travel, and maybe that was one stop he makes. Yeah. Of course I can, but what? Because you also got to keep in mind that he probably had other things he had to do as well that probably John Connor told him to do. You sound discouraged. Not so much discouraged. Like who knows? Maybe one of Jacob's other goals was literally to find Kyle Reese. Oh, I think all of us do sometimes. You're like, all right, Jacob, here's, here's what's going to happen. You, you can do whatever you want when it comes to your own self, you know, to help your younger self get to where he goes. But I have my, you have your own side objectives to do as well. You know what I mean? Well, you know, I can't just leave. I really hope they go with the whole future Jacob thing, because that's the only way I can really think of that it would make sense. What brings you here? Just looking for someone to 
bar. Or maybe I'm just thinking too much into it, and you know, I'm searching it's, it's just parents. a game. I think they were captured by my But then again, I was told came from around here. The people Could who are me? making, who made Terminator you Resistance, really knew their lore very well. Oh yeah, I need to resend you that fan, that Terminator fan film too, where um, the people who did the fan film was able to get the original actor to play as John Connor in Terminator, uh, Terminator Two, in the in the future flashback. Excuse me, do you mind if I borrow a little of this sap? No, not at all. Go ahead. Yeah, it's a, it, yeah, it's a very, very good fan uh, fan film, and I, I, I really I like it. I just hope that somehow, someday, someone, somewhere will find something. Yeah, because it takes place mid-campaign, and the game doesn't have, like, a downtime for our Yeah, all down. I don't think it ever does, like, one week later or anything in the middle of the game, from what I remember. Uh, it only does, I believe, a few days later when Skynet, um, not Skynet, when, um, when, um, the Resistance, uh, is told about, uh, Jacob's whereabouts, like where he is. Excuse me. But even still, that would still be too early because Jacob oh, is only so just like a regular Resistance fighter. Me? Help you? <laughs> I doubt it. After what you and your safe like. Yeah, I feel like Jacob would have mentioned there? Kyle. Oh. Yeah. But I didn't mean to hurt you. I didn't know plants could hurt. In fact, I didn't plus also at the same to... time. Well, not all John Connor had a Just lot more knowledge than we anticipated. <laughs> sure. Like he knew a whole lot special. of stuff. Well, yes, I. <laughs> Like, for example, how did man? John Connor know, technically, that, um... I've searched this entire planet looking for an That the core wasn't there. Lysage. Remember? Have you heard of her? Or and even going behind the infiltration line her. for an exterior period huh? of time. Oh, uh, Not just that, maybe... I don't know. Because I know that future Jacob ends up dying in the campaign. You know... Is there anyone here in Tenebris yeah. that could help me? Well, we'll, have, we'll just have to find see. out. Because you know me, if I if I miss the stream, I'll watch I'll watch the VOD. Especially if you put it on your YouTube channel. A duck? What's his name? Where could I find him? No, he's not a real duck. Don't remember his name. Don't know that I ever heard it. But he might be down at the amp. But I'm glad. I am so glad that I called that shit because I remember in like the random. It was in a random facts video about resistance that there was some unused files in the, the main game that were never used. It's over. One of the one of them being um, Kyle. Kyle's. Um, Kyle's template was in the game files, but it was never used. So I'm guessing now we know what it's going to be used for. Anything, just name it. See my friends down there, those pesky chameleons. Though they they tweeted out Kyle's ID. Techcom three eight four one six. Anyway, if you can stop. The fact that I remember that fucking ID number. The slippery slope. Oh my god, dude. So, it's silkworms I seek? Yes, Mr. Short-Term Memory Loss. Clear out those worms, and I'll help you get where you're going. Oh yeah, you got some nice big sunflower lips there, babe. Oh yeah, I'll give you some seeds. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry, I had a moment there. Had a moment. <laughs> Whoa! I mean, she she did have some nice, really big lips, man. You know. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. I, I had a I had a man moment there. Oh my god. 
Oh, okay. I did it. I kind of want to no buy the game on PC and see, like, see what it's like with those graphics. Oh, those Ooh. Silk of any hue. Just place them on a color. That'll take a lot out of your PC, though. You. And in silk yet. But don't waste them. And please, don't and hopefully if you ever do up. replay it on PC, okay. you know. And if you ever decide to stream it, hopefully the game's not like... Well, hopefully Twitch isn't like, oh, you, you can only watch in 720p. <laughs> Bitch. Yeah. Now that I've rescued your friends, will you help me cross? Okay. No, no way. No, no way. No, 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 Got one. Perfectorino. Um, well, that's actually one of my. That's got to be a new PB for that. Wow. Um, my laptop should be on. Yeah, so I'll wait and see if it goes on sale before the tenth, because they could have a sale for its release of the DLC. That's true. That is true. Also, I really need to check on that um, the Techcom uh, game. That fan game that I told you about that I sent you the demo for. I need to see how they're doing with that. I'm out of here. If anyone needs me, I'll be in my trailer. The trailer. Trailer. Tra -tra 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 trailer. Yeah, it, it's it's a ve I'll, I'll say this, it's a very strong demo. Like there is gameplay of it on um, on YouTube. But it is a it is, it's a very strong demo. Still, it's tough enough aiming between the two, two, two of you. Oh yeah, I, dude, the fucking soundtrack's amazing. Oops. For the demo, it was a fully remixed soundtrack, and um, it, it was great. That's it. That's it. I have had it. I call it. Wit? Who said that? I can't take this anymore. You know, I really wish that they would they would release the DLC also for PS4. You can't. Because if they did the both the DLCs for PS4 as well, oh my god, I would totally play the hell out of Infiltrator mode. Uh, I should have never fired his fifteen sisters. Like dead serious, I would. I'd play the hell out of Infiltrator mode. Let's do a full walkthrough. Yay, free DLC. I know, I love free DLC. Excuse me. Just wait your turn. I'll call you when I'm ready for you. You can warm up anywhere, but just do it quietly. I've got people on stage already. Warm up? Did you say warm up? It's not really that cold in here. Mm. <laughs> I'm laughing. What's your name? Torin. But I don't have an act. Neither do the rest of these clowns. <coughs> I'm looking for Licentia the Sorceress. Have you heard of her? Nah, but she might be scheduled later. 
I got Zippy the Blind Magician coming up soon. Would he do? <coughs> Pardon me, ma'am. Look, oh, I don't Lord, care about Lord. your problems. I don't care if you got stage fright. I don't care if you need makeup. I'm real busy. I got your name right here on my list. Tar, special sauce. I'll summon you when it's time to go on. <sighs> special sauce? I don't know why, but now I'm starting to get a little hungry. I'm gonna have to probably eat a little bit after my stream. Excuse me. Yeah? I'm looking for a sorceress. I ain't her. I ain't her. Oh, I love the carpenter. I'm sorry to bother you, but do you know Licentia? No, you didn't. Huh? You didn't send me. The Union in the Hall sent me. No, no, no. Licentia. She's a sorceress from around here, I think. I never heard of her. Who are you? You that new musical saw play everybody's been raving about? Musical saw? You can use a saw to make music? Well, sometimes it make this one here sing a little. This game has one of the most, one of my most favorite puns ever. I absolutely love it. Um... Alright, Michael, you have yourself a great night, man. Thank you so much for stopping by and chatting and stuff, man. I hope you sleep well. Have you seen this saw player? Nah, the only saw I saw is this saw I saw with. I think we all saw that one coming. God, I love that one. Let's take Dr. Bags. You seem unhappy. He almost killed me. I'm, I'm, I'm never gonna work for him again. Lurk away, my friend. I'm Lurk away. For an evil sorceress named Licentia. Have you seen her? Ah, Shia LaBeouf. Yeah, he nearly killed me. Does Just deliver do a... it. Not to mention twice yesterday. So is that a no? He was lucky to have somebody like me. You're not really paying attention to me, are you? Poor bags. Somebody with quick reflexes. Poor old bags. His body count would even have been higher. Well, nice talking. Oh, dude, what if I had a mad emo oh, and it was bags? Oh, my God. Look at bags, man. Oh, man. Dude, that would be funny if I did that. If I made a mad emo and it was bags. Oh, my God. God, I just had a I just had a thought. Oh. Guys, what would you think about that? What if I had a a mad emo and it was bagged bunny? Hey, cut it out. And I don't mean with my sword. Oh, okay. I didn't know he was still there. Hey, Bags, take a look at this. Say, nice twigs. Yeah, and look inside. Whoa! Question is, though, is... Silk? I think so. It subscription emote or follower I emote, mind though? if I try it on? No, not at all. But dude, bags though, man, bags. I really love bags. What do you think? Huh? Oh, oh yes, it's you. It's very you. Oh, 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 look, look, it's got a secret compartment, too. Oh, hey, yeah, Michael, if you're still there, you should check out my movie reviews that I've put up so far on the, um, on the YouTube channel right there in the chat. I don't know if you're subscribed to the, um, YouTube channel or not. Archivist. Excuse me. I'm looking for someone, and no one's been able to help me. I was just wondering. Uh... Shh. 
I'm recording. Oh, I'm sorry. Is this better? No, mm. not really. Uh, let me hit pause here. There. Now, what was it you were saying? I'm Torin, and I'm seeking. No use to whisper now, young man. Oh, well, anyway, I'm Torin, and I'm trying to locate an evil sorceress named Licentia. Licentia, eh? Oh, sure, I know her. You do? Oh, I've asked darn near everybody on this planet, and you're the only one. I'm probably one of the few who does know her. My hobby is recording rare voices, and hers is one of the rarest. Then you know where I could find her? Oh, you wouldn't want to. When I met her, I found her quite rude. Rude? <laughs> quite She's rude. more than rude. She's unscrupulous, ruthless, unconscionable. And you'd be pissed off too moral, if you had a fucking collar bolted to your neck. She's Whoa, calm down. It doesn't matter. You can't get to her anyway. What do you mean, can't get to her? You don't know how far I've come already. Why, I've survived capture in the jungle, vicious vultures, stinking skunks, lava, snails, slugs, you name it. Of course I'll get to her. Very impressive. What is that accent? You see, young man, Lysentia was expelled from our world many years ago. Tossed into the Null Void she was, and never heard from again. The Null Void? I've got to go after her. That will be a problem. The Void is so dangerous. All the entrances to it were sealed long ago. You said uh, you record voices. Um, have you recorded Hello, her? Oh, Furpaw, welcome to the stream, well, man. How are you I doing? Have. It's one of my rare. Talk about a random treasures. good movie. I'd love to have it. Oh no. See, to someone random like good me, movie. there's nothing more valuable than a rare voice. Hmm. Oh really? I'd have to probably say uh, the Santa Claus, rare seeing rare how it is uh, December. What? May as well bring up a Christmas movie. Possible. Oh, yeah. yeah, I saw that. I'll Do check it out after stream. Um, the lands of yeah, the Santa Claus uh, starring not. Tim Allen. The last time those savages I think that's a very, very good movie. Um, even, even though really, in my I opinion, it kind of promotes that, oh, yeah, what? if you kill you? Santa Claus, you become Santa Claus. You get to bang Santa's it's wife something. and boss around Santa's elves. Um, but voice. keep, keep keeping that... Per, per, um, perspective for a away from this conversation. Never hear again. Um, I think it's a really good movie. I well, think it's one of the movies that put Tim Allen in the spotlight from okay. just being known as a comedian to, to actually becoming a um, an actual full star in a movie. Um, because there's a difference between being a comedian and being a comedic actor. Ready when you are. Um, Test. Yes. Even though Amazon? being a good comedian can help Hello? with comedic acting. My name is Torin um, from the Farman Valley near Crystal But yeah, City I, I, I the think that the, the, only the first Santa Claus. I've I didn't really like the second or the third Scarpa, movie. Uh, um, Pergola, the first movie was good to get to because, like I said, I don't see anybody else playing that role except for Tim Allen. Force her to free and, my parents um, and my friend Boogle. There's and some the iconic lines in that movie that I like. It's, um, it's only a ten meg and just the feel of it. It's, it's funny, now, but it doesn't linger for too long in terms voice. of its uh, gimmicks and its jokes. If that makes any sense. And here. I'll so, uh, throw in this old yeah, there's a random good so move for you. Play it back. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, and, and good luck finding Licentia. Now, if you'll pardon me, I have work to do. All right, let's do this. First off, we're going to put the auto crest into the crest quarter. 
All right, we're gonna go this way. Is he gone? Yes, he's gone now. Now we'll talk to Zippy the Magnificent. Excuse me, are you a magician? He's a blind magician. Ooh, where? Oh, me. Yes. Actually, I yeah, am. Yeah, hopefully that was a good, well, um, no. good redeem for you, Furpong. Hope you enjoyed that. Morning, I'm Zippy Hope the Magnificent. you're having a really, really good Who day. You? Hope you eat, hopefully I'm your Torin week is good. The lands above. Well, Torin, would you like to see a tree? Mm. Well, actually, I was going to ask you some questions. No, I'm pretty Splendid. good. All right. Here. Had a, I guess you could say cards. a neutral week, but doing good nonetheless. Just playing one of my favorite games and hanging out with my Cut boys and anywhere. chat. Memorize the card. Got it? Good. Now hold the deck tightly between your two hands. Tighter. Don't let really go. Really thinking about making Remember a snack card? later. Yes. Now. If yeah, I that's a new thing with um, Twitch right now um, that, to help with like hackers and stuff. In Basically, in a nutshell, um, yeah, Twitch accidentally yes. um, leaked a lot of its personal Wait, stuff of the uh, channel words, online by accident. And, um, and they had to do, do a lot of changes card? because of it. That's and one of those was um, of verifying phone number Oops. and uh, uh, second that. point yeah. um, author authentication um, with even right. streamers. Now, let's see. Where was so I? yeah, oh, it's yeah. okay, not a problem. If you're here I now. That's what matters. Here from my sleeve, in spite of the fact that you're holding hands with. Yeah, the gotta make card. sure that. Um, Would you be impressed? That this website yeah, still runs, you know. And Even if someone here, decides to do here, something stupid and leak, leak right stuff. Here. Oh, you learned something. What did you learn today? Oh, no, that's not my card either. Well, what, what did, did you, you have? learn today? A heart? No, that's not even a card. That's a bird. No, oh, so it is. Get out what of here. What do you mean I lost the game? Oh, do I need a better act? Okay. Is this your card? No, that's a book. Well, I don't know where your card is. Maybe it's still there in your hands. You know, at this point, I don't really I care. think you may have done the joke wrong. All right, then. Give me back my cards. You can keep your lousy two of diamonds. The game you lose hey, if that's reminded right. That of was it. my card. Oh, it's okay. It's too late now to sweet talk me. If only I had one good trick. You'll Zippy. never guess what I got for you, Zippy. You're right. Put it down so I can feel it. It's a real top hat with a rabbit inside. You know, like in a real magic. So what you been up to lately, man? What you been up to? Let me see. Yes, but who's this? It's me, Zippy. Biggs. Biggs Bunny. You remember me, don't you? Yes. I thought you said you'd never work for me. Well, that was before you offered me this fine silk like. Oh, what kind of book are you working on? Man, what a hat like this. Even you should be able to do magic. Hey, are you going to start this relationship off on a sour note? Or step inside and I'll do the tricks. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for magicians. <laughs> Grab your wand that. and let's practice. I love that joke. Yeah, that is a problem. I seem to have lost my magic wand. Oh, no problem. Ask this tourist guy here to find it. What did it look like? Oops. Sorry. <laughs> here you go, Zippy. I found your wand. Fancy story about an assassin and a prince who are best friends. Oh, thank you, Torin. Hmm. Say, okay. this isn't my wand. What are you trying to pull here? Sounds a bit uh, prince nothing. and pauperish I, I to me. I'd read it. I do. 
But remember, I'm blind, not stupid. Well, what's the difference? One smart. Are you a magician or aren't you? You're right. Thank you, Torin. This will do just fine. So what are you waiting for? Pull a fancy colored silk over me and let's get rolling! Uh, well now, that's another problem. What now? I uh, don't have a silk. A magician without a silk kerchief? Torin! Yes, Torin. I made this beautiful silk as a gift for you, Zippy. Second one will be about a video game NPC Why, who knows he isn't it real. And it's helping out the so heroes smooth. or the heroes interacting with the NPC. I, I haven't decided yet. Perhaps stuff it in my breast pocket. I don't know. I was thinking you might use it to cover the rabbit inside your top hat. Hmm. That's good too. So what are we waiting for? Show us. Thank you so much for contributing to the community it's challenge. Showtime. Thank you very much. Like I'm gonna so be extending that soon. All right, I will. Thanks to you, Torin. And I'm thinking you know, about what you you've said been there. So nice to me. Would you like this book of magic spells? It should get you past any sorcerers you find in these parts. Besides, I don't read that much anymore. You know, yeah, because you're blind. Um, and good luck with your act. I have a really good idea for your second story. Do you want to hear it? Okay. So, beginning part. Sounds really, really good. About a video game NPC that knows, he's isn't, that knows he isn't real. What if there was a way for him to come out of the actual book itself and, and experience the real world and try and help out uh, particular people and he would learn like as he tried to help more people that helping people isn't always the best thing to do. That's just a rough idea. Yeah. Alright, let's do it right here. And play. <coughs> Mr. Torin. One minute, Mr. Torin. Mr. Torin. On stage in one minute, Mr. Torin. Let's go. Like he somehow leaves the game and interacts with the players. Yes, and. Also, he reacts with real people, and he learns that um, he learns from helping good people and bad people by accident. That it's not always good to help people with everything that they need to do. Kind of like how um, there's the um, the story of teaching a man how to fish versus giving him fish. You know what I mean? And now, a medley of my favorite songs from the lands above. <laughs> Where the peat moss groans in the light of three full moons, and those <coughs> crystal sure. mountains summon my heart home. Yes, the lands above. Kind of like your video game NPC. I like helping people out whenever I can, too. That's it, that's it, now come with me. But officer, why do you have tears in your eyes? Are you I guess you could say that's why I stream. No, I stream not just I'm to help musician. myself, but I stream to help now, other come people. come with me, you're under arrest. What for? Impersonating a singer. Okay. Torin of the lands above. I'm trying to think. I think you are a part of my Discord as well. Um, if you ever, um, whenever you finish it and everything, if you ever want to post in my Discord, let me know and I'll tell you where to post it. Into the no void with him. No, I don't. I said I don't know if you are or not. Here we are, boy. Now you stand over there. Okay. Hey! 
good riddance, Black Into Crusher. the null void with him. How can I just float in midair like this? Oh, I get it. In the very center of the planet, gravity pulls equally from all directions. But how can I move? There's nothing to grab onto. Well, first off, before you start going places, we're going to play around with this. Oh, indeed. Indeed, this is an interesting game. There's the door! It's a little bit closer. Put it here. Plus, um, on speedrun.com, I am uh, fourth place worldwide for beating this the fastest at 100%. So, yeah. Alright, now we gotta hide underneath the walkway here. Or we'll get eaten. Come here. Bye bye, Drake. Debrief, come here. Debrief, come here. Oh, Rider's Block. Oh, most definitely. I know exactly how you feel about that. What the? Bogle? Mom? Dad? I swear I'll stop her. Now, I want to do my favorite death in this, because I always do. And you'll see why. Wait for it. Congratulations, you did it! That's nice to see someone else has an Aldo sense of humor. That's why you get to hear this, my very own personal Easter egg, instead of the boring, plain old death message you see before you there on the screen. Anybody who comes all the way through this game asking everybody you meet about this evil sorceress named Licentia and then finally finds her and then tricks Dreep into following a recording of her voice and then doesn't use the book of magic on her but instead plays the bagpipes deserves much more than just another boring old death message. So here's my personal thank you for playing the game and now enjoy the ending. But whatever you do, don't tell anybody how you got this message. Instead, just taunt them with, why, I got a personal message from Al Lowe at the end. Didn't you? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's my favorite thing to do in this game. Now, 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 chat, this will be our little secret. <laughs> oh, let's use that. You dare enter my home and attempt your little magic spells on me.
foolish boy. I have she was under control by, by the collar. Than you'll ever possess. <sighs> the collar. Or, of course. Who else could remove the collar? My name. I was your nanny. Nanny? I saved your life the night your parents were murdered. Murdered? No! How could you? I thought you had them in a magic spell. No, Torin. The Farmans are safe. But they're not your real parents. Let's talk about a random your bad real game. Parents were the king and queen of the lands above. Uh, let's see. What? Then I'm... That's right. You're the next king. No, that's wrong. I'm the next king. I got one that I haven't talked about with you here. Um, where's Waldo for Nintendo? All it is, is point is, um, literally, where's Waldo? As an as a as a video game, the graphics are absolutely terrible, and half the time you can't really find Waldo. There's even a random glitch that'll happen in it where Waldo will not even appear at all in some of it. It's a very rare glitch, but it's happened with me um, before. And also, if you don't really know how to play the game the way the game wants you to play it, you'll never be able to finish it. And it's absolutely fucking stupid. And that's game. Basically beating the game at 100% means you have 999 score. That was close. I thought he had you there for a second. He licensed ya. Yeah, basically in a nutshell, in terms of summary, you're playing as a boy named Torin that longs for adventure. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, a sorceress comes, takes away your quote-unquote parents, and you swear to go um, save them. And you go to different worlds, from the lands above, to Ascarpa, to Pergola, Estenia, and even now to... Um, Tenebris, and as things play on, you find out that Torn is technically royalty, and uh, it was the sorceress herself that saved your life, um, and made you live with these people here. But she was tried for kidnapping the, the crown prince, and basically she was uh, punished. <laughs> By putting putting a collar around her neck and sending her to the lands below to live out the rest of her days. And that's that's really what it is. <laughs> that's really all the game is. Yeah, in terms of summary. Yeah, it's a very good it's a very good concept. Yeah. And we beat this one in two hours and forty eight minutes. Hell yeah. It's not my best time, of course, but. You know, we were just chilling today with it. Um, Shadow Seed. Well, I do. Uh, well, I do my outro and everything. Would you mind um, seeing who is live streaming so I can give a give a good raid, please? And uh, while Shadow does that, Mr. Romo Roses, if you are in chat, um, can you do exclamation point raid one and exclamation point raid two in chat, please? All right, Fur Paul, you talk, you go and get yourself some sleep, and it was great to see you, my friend. Hopefully, you'll be able to come by again when we when we hang out. Sleep well. Uh, my next stream will be on Monday. Um, it will either be um, Resident Evil Six with Calix with uh, with my boy Calix Page helping me out. 
or we'll uh, we'll play something random. Uh, I'm not sure what which one it'll be. I'm praying that it'll be Resident Evil Six. And Monday will be your birthday. We'll make we'll see if you can try and pop in on Monday, and I'll give you a happy birthday. I love being able to tell people happy. And um, after Monday, I'll do the rest of my schedule then. So yeah, um, that was that was Torrance Passage. We had we had our fun there. I'll see you later, man. Millicore. All right, all right. Well, if you are a subscriber, do a copy paste of Raid One in chat. If you are not a subscriber, do a copy paste of Raid 2. We are going to go and raid a good friend of mine, Millie Core Gaming. What is she playing right now, Shadow? Valheim. Okay. Well, yeah, I can see. I can see you're still being stuck on that thing. I'm surprised she's not playing uh, Guild Wars too. That's eh, that's Millie. All right, let's go ahead and raid Miss Millie Core Gaming. Everybody that is in chat, please do your copy paste of either Raid One or Raid Two. Everyone, we're going to go and send some love to Millie and go hang out with her. So, I will see you guys, like I said, on Monday. We will either do Resident Evil 6 with Calyx Page or a random game on a random Monday. We will see what happens. Um, I'll try and let people know literally on Sunday, the day before, what's going on. All right, so as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'm your friendly neighborhood game machine, and this was Retro Friday. Where we played us some Torrance Passages. And so I see everyone in the next video or live stream. Peace out. Happy gaming my friends. And please stay safe out there.